So, just another quick video about the new auto column feature that was added to the latest version of Virtual TDA 2021, which is built 6541 at the time of this recording. So, what is this auto column? Well, if you go into, for instance, say, yeah, a virtual folder like this one, it of course has an order to start with this track and this track, but that usually changes all the time because you may want to click the BPM, sort by BPM to, to, to be able to mix uh, in, in uh, in time or you want to maybe look at the title to find a specific track or whatever and then you don't have the order anymore you've then always been able to to use the the reset order feature in here if you wanted to but the problem was that with that feature especially is you can't really see if it's the right order and if you add a, a new track um, then uh, it just goes in to it and you don't really know what that goes compared to the reset order and stuff like that so now there's a new column you can add so you can right click it and you can put in the order column. So as you can see now, this is not in order, and that's because I've already clicked uh, the title, so it's not in title order. But if I click the order column, then I get it, get it like it was when it's created, like this. And then if I add a new track to it, like maybe this one, uh, you can see it gets the number eight, but I can also just drag it anywhere, like this. And now it has number five. Uh, so that's now the, the real order for that one. So if I click title to get it uh, ordered by title, or if I click BPM to get it ordered by BPM, I can always click order to get it back, and now this track is number five again. So this was highly requested, a way to make sure that you can keep the ordering of your virtual folders and also your playlists. That's the other place where it works. So just to test that, I'm going to playlists up here. Pick a playlist, like maybe default playlist here. Uh, and again, I can go in here and I can right click and I can add the order column. So I now see it's ordered now. Uh, and if I add something, like maybe just a paper here and put it in somewhere, uh, now it's there and I can order by it. And I, uh, of course, I can click it twice to reverse the order. Um, but I can also click on anything else, like maybe this, maybe length, maybe BPM, maybe key. And if I wanted to go back to the original order, I simply click the order column again. So that's the way to, to show the latest order, uh, the original order, or whatever I have decided to make your order by dragging and dropping the tracks around. So it's really to, to be able to get back to that even when you do the sorting to help you with your DJ. So that's basically the new uh, order column feature.